Hey everyone, this is Tim with Online Big Blue bringing you the best in New York Giants sports talk and entertainment. Two podcasts in two days, there must be something going on in the world of the Giants. Well, Daniel Jones is in a walking boot. Going back to some of our one of our other podcasts, yes, yes, yesterday we were talking about the brilliance of Pat Shermer of playing Daniel Jones when he tweaked his ankle against Green Bay in the third and fourth quarter instead of just pulling him. Daniel Jones is the franchise. Daniel Jones is our man. Daniel Jones is the train that we are going to be riding for the next 10, 15 years, hopefully. But it looks like he may be out for the Eagles game on Monday night. And that means, we know what it means, it means the return of Eli Manning. Okay, I got some problems. I am an Eli fan. I've always been an Eli fan. I, I never, I never try to hide that. I've been an Eli fan since since his days in Old Miss. Uh, he is the player of what I would think is when you know my generational years. He is one of my favorite players, and going back to even you know top play, my top favorite players are um, Phil Sims, Lawrence Taylor, Y.A. Tittle, and Eli Manning. So I'm excited that he's going to play in Philadelphia. How is he going to do? Dude's been sitting on the bench since week two. A little leery that, you know, 30-something, 38 years old, you're riding the pine. You know, you're not going to respond like you did when you were 24. And honestly, Eli has probably not sat on the bench since his sophomore year in high school. Or maybe even Pop Warner. So, what do I think is going to happen? Personally, I think it's going to be vintage Eli in Philadelphia. Vintage Monday Night Eli, for a one game at least. I... I... The Eagles have problems in the secondary. We have problems at receivers, but I think they have more problems in the secondary than we do at receiver. I think Eli is going to utilize Saquon like he used to last year. I think the checkdowns are going to be down there to Saquon. I would not be shocked if Saquon has 20 carries and 10 catches. And I and I think that the Giants will pull off a memorable, memorable 23-17 win. Now, again, that's not an indication or indictment of Daniel Jones. I think Daniel Jones has done fantastic from what he has to work with. I think he is going to be a player. Um, I've always been a Jones fan as well. But it's the Eli's, you know, it's Eli's turn. Here's the thing I have with Eli starting. You almost want to start Ryan Tanny. I mean, Alex Tanny, excuse me, I'm thinking of someone else there. Only because of the fact that... Eli coming in with these games that we have, they're all winnable games. He could wreck the chase for Young. Now, I I am never a fan of tanking the games, never whatsoever. But uh, I I don't want to train wreck here. I, I, I don't want to drop down, you know, six, seven draft spots to win some meaningless games. You know, and you always try to win the games, and I understand that. And this is just coming as a fan perspective. This is just coming out of my perspective. Um, you know, I, I am all for it. I, if Eli wins these last three, four games, I, you know, if he gets to play all of them, I am for it. I am down. And I honestly think that if, you know, Jones has the high ankle sprain, that he does not need surgery, that's great. But I don't think we should risk our future on these meaningless games. So that being said, am I excited Eli starting in Philadelphia? Yes. We are going to the game. We weren't going to the game. I actually live in Pennsylvania, so it's like 45 minutes to the link for me. I wasn't planning on going, but we've already picked up our tickets, and we are en route for Monday Night Football and Eli Manning. Again, it's with excitement, with trepidation. And I, I just have this feeling that, and and I love it because there's gonna be some giant fans are gonna blame Eli for wrecking the draft, uh, because that's just the way we are as fans. But I have this feeling that Eli's gonna have some magic, and he's gonna do. He's he's. I'm I'm seeing you know 350 yards, three touchdowns, maybe one or two interceptions, but vintage Eli, at least for one game. Um. And like I said, I am concerned that this is going to wreck the chase for Young because we need defense. We need 
Ron Rivera. Um, we need a defensive edge. You know, we need that. That's what we need. That's what we're lacking right now. Um, Ron Rivera. Uh, just, I, I figure if I just keep saying uh, Rob Rivera subliminally, the Giants will go after him. But I don't think that's going to happen. Uh, because you know what? It makes too much sense. He's a Gettleman guy. Him and Gettleman went 15-1 and one into the Super Bowl. It would make all the sense in the world. A defensive guy, great defensive coordinator who was a great head coach, not a great head coach, a really good head coach. You know, he took three titles and took to, and went to the Super Bowl. Didn't win it, but he went. It would make all the sense in the world. That's why the Giants won't do it. But, you know, it's time to ride with Eli. And I'm excited. I'm excited that he's going to play. I'm excited that maybe we'll get to see him and he can actually finish out his Giants career uh, the way it should be with him on the field. And, you know, I can't even say they're meaningful games because they're not. They're meaningless games, but it would be good just to see him on the field and finish out his career. But like I said, I don't want to see them wreck the chase for Young. That's all I can say. But you know what? Hopefully Daniel Jones will get better. Hopefully this is uh, maybe just a one-time start for Eli. I don't think so, though. I think the franchise would be smart enough. I think Gettleman would be smart enough over Shermer to shut you know Jones down. You know, let him watch the last couple of weeks. Let him learn. Let him let him see exactly. I know he could watch his, he watched Eli in preseason in the first two games, but you know what? Sometimes sitting down and just seeing how a pro's pro does it is helpful. But at this point in time, we just have to wait and see. Again, let's uh, let's let's keep our fingers crossed with Jones. Let's hope he gets back in soon. And let's root for Eli. Eli lovers, you got what you want. Eli haters, you know what you got what you want as well. Um, but it's time. It's time for the Eli Manning Show. So hopefully we will do a live broadcast from the link. Uh, again, this is Tim with Online Big Blue bringing you the best in New York Giants sports talk and entertainment. So let's go, Eli. Eli.